Hello there guys, welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining as ever. So it's Wednesday. Uh, transfer window is well underway. We've seen a player sign and a player leave. Uh, the player that left, of course, as Cameron McGeehan, and he's only gone on loan. Like I said in yesterday's video, I can only see the reason why it's loan is because purely for in case we go down uh, purposes. That is, that's the only thing I can think of of, of to why it's loan. Uh, the news I'm reading today, now, believe it or not, whichever you want, I'm one of those. Uh, there's loads of rumours escalates around it, uh, went in transfer windows, uh, is that uh, Nottingham Forest are plotting a move for Alex Mowat. Uh, Forest sit fourth in the championship table as we speak. Uh, they're looking to bolster the midfield uh, and they reckon Alex Mowat would be a good signing for him. Uh, now, when you at a club like us or a joint bottom of the league and Nottingham Forest come look, I'm sure that's going to turn uh, turn players heads but I want us to talk about in this video how crucial it is in this window and if it would be a successful window and we not necessarily bring in the targets we see but also if we did keep Alex Mowat and Corley Woodrow them two alone staying at the club till the end of the season I, I would personally give that a success give it a successful window because they're the two players that are going to be linked all over. We, we already saw it when we went to Derby. We saw Woodrow not even in the squad. Straight away, we were panicking. Fans were panicking. It turned out he was only injured. He was there at the ground and everything like that. But that it, that's what it's come to when a player is not even included that we just straight away think he's gone. He's gone, he's gone, he's gone. And... Uh, yeah, not even considering he could be injured, blah blah blah. So I think a lot, a lot of us panic when stuff like that happens. Um, so I think it's uh, very vital that we fight tooth and nail to keep hold of them two key players, Mowat and uh, Woodrow. Uh, definitely Mowat. Anyway, he's been very, very solid this season. Mowat. He's made us tick as a football club in the midfield. Provided seven assists, scoring two goals himself. You know, and his efforts have not gone unnoticed, not just by us, by our fans, but also by other clubs as well. And you can see what type of player he is. Uh, work rate, energetic, everything like that. He gives his all every week. Uh, captain as well, uh, and he's proved that he can do that at the age of twenty-four. You know, that can be classed as a young age for a captain, but then again, we are a young side. Um, so, I would... For me, I don't... Mower, if he goes, that'll be a very, very... I don't know what to say, really, about it. If Mower does go, we will lose, a, I think, the midfield, one of the most important parts in a football team... If Mowat goes, it will be very, very gutting and very hard to replace his type of his, his quality. What we need for the for the football club right here and now, um, you know, I don't think there's been any offers coming as far as I'm aware. But there is rumours circulating, and it, uh, I've seen Charlton as well also looking at him and Reading. So that's three championship clubs there. Um, Mower himself, what he, what whatever he wants, you know, we've got a option to extend his contract as well, which I think is in our favour. So Mower for me, he's got to stay. Um, can't be flogging your best players in this window where we are in the league. It's uh, it would be it'd be criminal if you ask me. It'd be criminal. Uh, so as long as we fight to uh, fight hard to keep these players, then. You know, we've got to sit here and say fair play. Um, I just hope that that's the case come February, uh, that we're still talking about Mowat and Woodrow being here. Uh, hopefully anyway, guys, really do hope so, because we've got some big games coming up. I mean, Uddersfield on Saturday is probably the biggest game of the season so far. I'm really looking forward to previewing that tomorrow for you all. Um, I'm not sure who, who, who we'll have on as guests. I know Dale is one. Uh, let maybe try and get another guest on as well, uh, but I'm really looking forward to talking about that game because it's it's ridiculous how important that game is and how important that we we come through it with a result. Uh, 
Um, so yeah, guys, obviously we'll keep you updated throughout the day uh, if any news does come out regarding players or uh, whatever. Because uh, that's what it's about this uh, January January transfer window. You know, there's rumours all the time, and I think it's a lot more a lot more uh, fr frustrating, a lot more. Um, What's the word? More stuff seems to come out in January than it does over the summer. Because over the summer, you've got time to actually, you know, recruit players. January, transfers come, and come in day, day in, day out. So I'm hoping that we can add a few more in there as well as keeping the best uh, assets that we've got. You know, like, like players that aren't necessarily playing, i.e. like McGeehan. Like McGeehan, who weren't playing. I will not lose too much sleep over if they leave because they're not even featuring on the bench, never mind in the starting eleven. But I still think we need a couple more players in there. Um I definitely would uh, I definitely would invest in another striker. Another maybe another two defenders, right back and a centre back, or maybe even two centre backs. I don't know. But I, I that's they're the key areas for me because last few games we've definitely looked very light up front when Woodrow's been out, and Woodrow, in fact, Woodrow isn't even playing up front, is he? So, but that's I, I, yeah. If you're gonna play Woodrow in the number ten role, uh, we definitely need another striker for me who's gonna get goals, big target man. Uh, that's what we need. Did we have one of them once? Once upon a time, I think we did, didn't we? So, all right then, guys. Well, thank you for watching this little video. Remember to subscribe if uh, you're new to the channel. Uh, smash that like button as well. Uh, always nice to have great support. And we'll see you. If there's any news comes out, we will, uh, we will update you. So thank you so much for watching, guys. You Reds, and I'll see you in the next video.